Live from the NBC6 studios, this is South Florida Today. Welcome back. Every child wants to do something special for Dad for Father's Day, right? And what better way to say I love you than by serving pop breakfast in bed? You know, while the intentions are good, the result is often burned toast, undercooked eggs, and a kitchen that looks like a hurricane blew through, right? Well, this weekend, Conrad Miami, that great hotel downtown, is doing something to help your kids get ready for Father's Day morning. Joining me now is Chef Michael Gilligan and his sous chef, Richard Placencia. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. And you have some assistance here. This is Kiki. Leslie and Chloe, good morning, girls. And you have a couple of recipes that even kids can fix, and that's the whole idea today. Exactly. This morning, the first thing we're going to make is uh, an item we call chicken in a basket. Oh! It's actually a piece of toast with a fried egg inside, but chicken in a basket, which came first, the egg or the chicken, whatever. Mm. So, we have, <laughs> so we have our assistants who are going to start helping us out. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make a circle in the bread. It's great when these guys can do everything for me. Yeah, a little cookie cutter action there. A little there. cookie cutter. Okay. And we can get rid of that. And then Leslie's going to butter the outside. Love your Leslie. accent, darling. Where are you from? I'm from England, sweetheart. You're from England, <laughs> sweetheart. There we go, sweetheart. If we just butter our bread, Richard can help out. Come on, Good Richard. Good job, Leslie. You're an expert butter spreader. I see you've had experience at this. Very she's, nice. She's an old hand at this now. This is a second time. I see that. Because you actually, um, the hotel offers cooking classes, which we'll be telling uh, the audience about in a couple of minutes. But I remember for Mother's Day, it was such a big success. You're going to do the same thing on Saturday. That's right. Yep. That's perfect. Okay, so Leslie has your butter. Is it Kiki's and turn Kiki's, to do something? Kiki's cracking the egg. Go ahead, Kiki. Those eggs are all they're cracked up to be. There we go. We crack that right into the bowl. All righty. And then we place our bread here, get it nice and sizzling. How and much oil did you put in the pan there, Mr. Gilligan? Uh, two tablespoons. Okay. All and right. then we'll put our egg in. Love it. And then we'll just cook that as the, uh, the egg begins to turn white. And then we will, uh, we will flip it over, and that will be the start of our chicken in a basket. I love that. Can we get another one going in sure. the meantime? So while this guy's cooking, yes, sir. we're going to start with our lovely French toast. Ooh. Which uh, Richard's going to make. Who doesn't love French toast, by the way? Not I. <laughs> so Richard's going to start by uh, cracking uh, two eggs into our mixing bowl here. OK. And then we're going to add uh, our sugar, cinnamon, Our vanilla essence and of course the milk and then again two tablespoons of I'm thinking oil. the sous chef on Sunday is going to be mommy am I right in saying <laughs> that in most cases the mommy's exactly. going to be helping out and that's well, fine of course we uh, we always need to have an adult to be uh, to be supervising our kids and and our chicken in a basket is really coming along it's coming along easier to flip those eggs while they're entombed in the bread wouldn't you say exactly <laughs> Where? I've never used that word before, entombed. Entombed. Well, <laughs> not early, this early in the morning, anyway. I was going to say. Oh, that looks good over there, our French toast mixture. And then, Richard, we are going to pop some bread in here. Okay, girls, which one wants to get dirty? Yay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, flop it over. Go on, then. There you go. <laughs> go on, darling, make my day. And then, again, we'll have Richard to, uh, to put it into the pan, so no splashing and nobody's getting burnt. That's nice. I guess mommy should come in at that point, particularly given the ages of the chillin'. Sure. Ooh, that egg's starting to look good. It's beginning to look good. Yes, it is. And here we are making our French toast. And for garnishes, we have our fresh berries, we have bananas, maple syrup, some fresh mint. In fact, you can garnish this with anything you want. I love this. This is such a great idea. Now, I have to say that this is your very first Father's Day, Mr. Gilligan. It is indeed. It is. And I want you to take a look at this beautiful... Now, he can't wear this today because he's a, he's a company man and wants to promote. But look at this. This is Michael holding his new little girl, Kate Elizabeth. And she's only three weeks old. And, she's and beautiful. Yes, and his beautiful wife, Janine, made this for him to wear on the show today. And I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much. You're so great at teaching the children, and now you have your own. I don't think she'll be cooking this Sunday, though, will no, she? No, no, she's <laughs> a little young yet. All right, Conrad Miami's Father's Day cooking class is this Saturday from 11 to 1230. It's open for kids age 7 to 12, but moms and dads, you're invited to if you want to come along. The cost is $30 per child, and it includes all the stuff, and you get one of those nifty chef's hats 
like the children are wearing, and an apron, and a recipe book. If you'd like to join in, boy, this sounds like a lot of fun. For more information, just call 305-503-6500. Kiki, Leslie, and Chloe, thank you so much. You were very, very good. Thank you, Mr. Sue Chef Richard. And again, Michael, congratulations on your new daughter. Thank you and, so much. Uh, for this new enterprise at the Conrad. Thank you. Let's eat. Okay, Lonnie, over to you. Uh, it's, plus, it's so nice the whole studio now smells like breakfast. I know. I love that. Well, hey, any parent who's ever, ever taken their kids to a professional photo shoot, you know how hard it is to get your kid to sit still, to make your child look pretty well. Photographer Jerry Levine has been taking pictures of children for nearly